You are with Mr. Kanye once more with Visual X Masterclass. We're looking at uh, matter of finance, financial math. I want us to look at this next problem on how we do this on the, on the, on the exam. So remember I said you are asked, you either be asked I or N. Let's look at the previous one we're doing N, this one we want us to do I. 2000 Rand was invested in a fund paying I percent interest compounded monthly. This value is important. 2000 Rand was invested in a fund paying I percent interest compounded monthly. This becomes important. After 18 months, this is important. The value of the fund was, that's important. Calculate I. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for I in this particular case. 2000 Rand was invested in a fund paying I percent interest compounded monthly. After 18 months, the value of the fund was 2860 rand calculate i the interest rate right this is invested and it went up to this one and we're told that it is compound interest so i know exactly which formula to use it is a is equal to p into one plus because it went up i raised to the power n writing the correct correct formula gives you a mark so don't lose on these marks right but maybe before that, maybe before we even write a formula, let's, let's collect our data first. I believe in collecting data, it, it will make our life easier. This amount is invested, so it is the value of P. That is what we are investing, 2 blocks, 2,000. Right, what else do we have? Was invested in a fund paying I percent. Ah, I see I, my I in this particular case is I percent I over 100 interest compounded monthly what does compounded monthly mean? So remember in, in our introduction we said when it is compounded monthly you go to your i you divide it by 12 you go to your n you multiply it by 12. if i go to my n and multiply it by 12 what is this what am i actually doing i'm changing i'm changing uh, my, my my n from years into months i repeat if i'm multiplying my n by 12 i'm changing it from years into months 2000 Rand was invested in a fund paying I, I percent compounded monthly. So this also divided by 12 in this in this case. So 100 times 12, it will be 1200, 1200, 1200. You'll work with 1200 a lot in these sections when it is compounded monthly. So it's I over 1200, that's what we're looking for. After 18 months, there comes my N. Remember, when I divide I by 12, I've got to multiply N by 12. What am I doing when I'm multiplying N by 12? I'm changing it from years into months. But in this particular case, we're already given into months, so we don't have to multiply by 12. Because multiplying it by 12, we're actually changing it from years into, into, in, in, into months. If this was after one and a half years, I was going to multiply it by 12. But it is already giving us, we're already given this in months, so there's no need for me to go and multiply it by 12 again. So it will be 18 months. The value of the fund was, what is that, uh, 2,806, it is my A, that's what I get at the end of the investment period, 2,860. Calculate I, we know that this is what we're looking for. We're just looking for this value of I here, that's what we're looking for. Is this compound increase or compound decrease? I invested 2,000, I'm getting 2,860. So it is compound interest. So I go and write my formula, A is equals to P into 1 plus I raised to the power N. Remember what we're looking for, we're looking for this I. And it is very easy. Let's substitute. Did we have the value of A? Yes, we do have the value of A. This is A, I've captured it. It is 2,860 is equals to. Do I know my principal amount, the money that I invested? Yes, I do have the value of P. In this particular case, it is two blocks, 2,000. Into one plus, do I know my I? No, that's what I'm looking for. It is I over 1,200. Remember the 100 was for the percentage and the 12 was for compounded monthly raised to the power n do i know my n yes it is already in months i don't have to multiply it by 12. it is in this particular case 18. that's what we have and we now have only one unknown 
This is what we are trying to isolate. We want to have a situation where we have i is equal to something. So what is the first thing to remove from this side? Because I want to be left with i on the right hand side. The first thing to remove in this case will be the 2000. Let's do it. So if I divide by 2000 this side, I've got to divide by 2000 this side. If I divide by 2000 side, this will go. I will be left with... Uh, Let's do it using our calculator so that it will make life easier. Uh, I've got 2,000, 2,860 uh, divided by 2,001, 1, 2, 3. What am I getting? Uh, 1,43. Is it a smooth number or a number that is uh, spread all over my calculator? It is a smooth number. Then I can write it. I know that if I divide this by 2000 and divide this by 2000, this side I'll have, uh, what value was that? It's 1,43. So I've got 1,43. So what, this side, what, what am I left with? I've, I'm left with that one. I'm left with 1 plus into i over 1200, all raised to the power 18. What will be the next thing to remove there? The next thing to, remember this one has been removed. We divided these two, we got this one. So this is gone. What will be the next thing to remove here? Ah, it is this power 18. How do I get rid of this one? I've got to put 18th root on both sides. Your algebra, put 18th root on both sides. So if I put 18th root this side, I'm getting rid of that power 18. So this is gone by giving me 1,43. This is gone by putting 18th root on both sides. So this is gone, this is gone. I'm left with what is inside the brackets. I'm going for I. What must I remove now? I've got to remove this one. Transpose it the other side. It will be minus one. So I will have minus one now. So I'm left with that one. How do I isolate I? I multiply it by 1,200 on both sides. 1,200. Then I'm left with I this side, as simple as that. Then I go to my calculator and check what I have. This is uh, 1,200 into, put my bracket, uh, make sure that you put the right, uh, the right one. Uh, okay, I've got it on my calculator next to hex. This is the one. There, I've got 18. Then I go inside. What do I have? 1,43, 1,43. Then I go out and I subtract minus 1. I subtract 1. I close my bracket. Uh, I say equals 2. Right. This is what we're getting as our solution at the end. My i is equals to. 24,08%. This is how you go about calculating the value of i. I want us to take a step further and see how can we go solving the other problems. Thank you.